is to record the analysis. What's up, Higgsman? Anyway, so Pugwas versus Himsora. Um, I don't know how this matchup is supposed to go. Um, I remember talking to Pugwas, and I was like, yeah, this matchup's probably Marth's favorite. And he's like, no, because, like, when Pete. When Marth throws an attack out, if Peach pulls back and forward airs, she can punish pretty hard. And I can see it because Marth like, extends his hurt box whenever he attacks, he like leans forward. So yeah, this map is supposed to be pretty even. Just because Peach Fair can test a lot of Marth's stuff and then turn ups and floats are annoying, blah blah blah. Sup mother boy, sup Black Knight. Anyway, let's get to this. So I don't know how to describe Pug West's style. He's a I guess he's a kind of aggressive player. He's not gonna like do super aggressive things, but he's gonna put pressure on you. So he is more of a pressure heavy player. I should probably turn off commentary and stuff in the game. Um, and then Peach, or well, Samsora's Peach is very defensive. He just loves baiting into doing attacks, pulling back, and then punishing. And so you're just seeing a classic spacing pressure versus anti pressure game. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, zombies. <laughs> Just for subscribing. I appreciate it, dude. Oh my god, there are zombies in the stream now. Oh, thank you for Korea as well. Hefty already. Pretty crazy. I know, dude. Thank you for the support for Heffier. Appreciate it. Yo, so far this match is pretty even right now. Ooh, catches ledge get up. Yeah, that's one thing that's really hard to do with that, about Peach is um, doing ledge get up versus Peach is annoying. Oh, ledge jump was caught. Or like a ledge drop, jump, whatever. The point is, Samsar almost died there. A little bit of aggression. You're seeing Sam probably wants to put Pug at the ledge now for a forward air kill. Pug's waiting out for the side B. Oh, that was a bad roll. Yeah, you see Pug's kind of scared at the ledge. Oh, stitch face. <gasps> ah, Pug, no! Why'd you let yourself get stitch face? And Samsar, okay, look at this. This is... This is really good by Samsora. So first, we get a grab in the roll. That's kind of an obvious roll, but Pug's in a bad spot. Pug just stands here. Just absolutely stood here. Am I going to the Genesis Saga? Potentially. I'm going to try to go there. What did I get my subs for Christmas? I got my subs from good streams. He just stood there. But then Sam catches this, and that's very nice. And that's something that Peach players have to be good at, is catching their situations wherever they want when they get them. Because now his pressure's on Pug. He can't press buttons. Like, if he presses a button, he gets a turn thrown at him, that's gonna be a lot of damage. I guess Sam threw off the turner because he's at the ledge. And I'm not sure what he's gonna do at the ledge, or at least he doesn't want it at the ledge. Wow, and just Sam gets in like this. Yeah, because Pug went for hard read. And I can understand the hard read, but it's still, like, it's a hard read. Guess wrong, then Sam's in his face. And obviously, Peach's frame data up close is good. Like, it's definitely gonna outframe data Marth. And you can see Sam is trying to stay with in Pug's range a lot when he gets in. Like, he kind of puts a lot of effort there. That was a good shield. Because as long as Pug isn't getting these tippers, I guess Sam isn't that scared. Almost kills, but not quite. <laughs> Some good streams, Mother Boy laughs. Where are the good streams on ass Pug? God, <laughs> you guys suck. You know, for Christmas, you guys are now getting coal. Coal and some awful streams. Deal with it. Yo. Bodied? Bodied. Look at that. I mean, I think... Did Pug burn his jump? Yeah, because he did ledge drop. I don't know why people do ledge drop so much. Like, if you ledge drop and it gets caught, you're dead. Which, I understand, like, why people do it, but at the same time... You gotta be so careful to do ledge drop for that reason. Because, yeah, you just die if it's caught and people get edge guarding. The toll tech, you should do that. Yeah, everyone should do that. Coal for the hookah, says Black Knight. God damn it, you potheads. <laughs> I didn't even know you could smoke with coal. Now I know. You got game two now. Um, yeah, game two. Just putting some spacing from Pug right now. Yeah, I mean, I feel like um, that time Sam's trying to be too aggressive. Now Pug is kind of waiting for Sam to corner himself. I think Pug has realized this over the match. Um, Battlefield might help Pug. I guess, yeah, actually I'm not really sure why this helps Pug too much. I guess we'll see. Then again, I'm not really sure what Sage would help Pug in this matchup here. So I guess just a good Marth Sage in general, which... Yeah, uh, Marth likes Battlefield because he can cover the mid-stage really well and push people to a corner. Pressure. 
Ah, oh, why did he counter? Pugwest was too scared there. Pugwest went low. Sam had no answers to take the hit. He would just have to take it. Um, side B. Um, one thing I'm noticing is Sam is not getting caught by any, like, attacks up close. Like, anytime Pug is up close, Sam just shields. Shield. Watch it be a shield soon? No. Shield. I mean, he can get... Oh, that was, I was about to say he can get shield broken. But, that was good by Sam. Because I'm afraid of Sam just getting grabbed, but anything about the shield breaker. But yeah. Yep, Sam's up close doing that. And Pug is too afraid to go for grabs. Not that I blame him, because if he gets caught by, like, a float back, and he grabs, he dies. Yeah, and he attacks block, he has to shield because forward air shield's too dangerous. I think Pug is putting on way too aggression right now, his shield's too low. But he's trying to stay in Sam's face, maybe mix it up. And now he's getting caught by cross up rolls. And Sam is doing a good job of just waiting out attacks. Forward air, back off a little bit. Um, gets caught by that jab out shield. That was a good jab out shield. Probably get back air or something. Yep, new back air's coming. Yep, shields. Punish the side B with quickest thing you can. You maybe could have fared for big greedy option. It's a stock. Wow. Yeah, Pug needs to remember the toad and deal with that properly. Yep, Punish his counter with a throw. Yep, Sam just waiting. He's up close to Pugsy do something. Up close, trying to get fair. Gets grabbed, not a big deal. Doesn't do the down throw, but whatever. <sighs> Gets real lucky he didn't get hit there. Waiting, trying to downer. I guess he's expecting Pug to just not press a button there. Or maybe he just misspaced the downer, hard to say. Yep, forward air backwards. Huh, forward smash. That looked like a misinput. Pretty sure he meant to do jump fair there. Down air because Pug is near ledge, but Pug realized this and moved back. Yep, and now he's trying to go in with down airs whenever Pug is close, but Pug is just knocking down aired. I don't know why Sam's going for these greedy down airs all of a sudden. I guess he really wants the combo. But. I feel like he's taking too much damage. Dash attack, he keeps doing that when he's cornered. That's something I want to see Pogwest adapt to, is dash attacks. So yeah. Um, ooh, nice side B. Punished that whiff really hard. I swear, Sam's behind now. Back off, he tries to go in. Yep, yeah, Pug is pushing back. Yeah, now Pug's not the one putting on pressure. Now he's letting Sam try to put on pressure. So Pug just waits here. Dash back. Sees it open with the float. There. Kill, hurt him. You and your friends are talking about patch and small lines not like cloud up air. Auto cancel thoughts. I considered that for cloud up air, but the thing is, I don't think cloud's problem, like the thing that makes cloud great, is his moves. Oh, he's just dead. Wow. But I don't think cloud strength is his moves. I think it's just purely the fact that limit is too centralizing as every single mechanic. So that was, wait, what was that? Was that up air? That was like float canceled up air. And then he just tries lingering here and gets caught. I mean, I don't know why he didn't just do fall air dodge up B. I feel like there's no way he's going to get punished for fast fall up B or even just regular fall back up B. Should be fine. But yeah. Um... And that just sucks, like, Pug was at, what, like, 54? Before this entire thing happened? Like, he's 39%, he gets the combo going, whatever. Misses down or gets caught by down throw, nair. Good idea, go high. But he needs to give himself more space in the ledge. He keeps getting caught by, like, peach ledge options. But the one time, like, you don't do a peach ledge option? I mean, like, the... Ah, uh, like, he should have just backed off. Because peach keeps doing something there. He just needs to hit Peach after she does something, instead of, like, before, whereas... Here we got game three. So game three back to battlefield. And I can still see why Pug likes battlefield. The platforms do give him escape options when he wants them, but mainly because he can keep Peach from like full hopping a lot and Peach is forced to fight with short hops. Meanwhile, like 
Marth just wants to do a lot of short hops anyway. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate it. Okay, Sam is so trying to go in. Jump air dodge every time. Pug needs to change up his ledge game. And Pug rolled there again. Pug has a bad rolling habit at the ledge. Ooh, that's nice punish. Pug doesn't get enough damage off of the... There you go, Pug. Wait for the ledge option. Sam's trying to float. Linger there. Now he's going to float? Nope, just up B. Damn, Pug is not good at this matchup. At least he's not... The thing is, he should know his matchup from Ling Ling, but... He hasn't, like, practiced, I guess, things like edgeguarding Peach properly, because he's missing free edgeguards, I feel like, with Marth. Ooh, yep, Sam just goes in, because Pug full hopped. Like, Sam's reaction times are really good. I think that's one of the hardest things about fighting him, is you just, like, won't be ready for him to be ready for what you're doing. Almost gets to the back air. Almost gets killed by an air, not quite. That was bad air dodge, he should be dead. Oh no, Pug misses a tipper! Okay, he gets that though. Yeah, because Sam can't really land here, on like the platforms, so he has to go to the ledge. But since he was mid-stage, going to that ledge is hard. So he should went to the other ledge, but it's hard to realize in that situation what you should do when you're like, at the top of the screen. Okay. So Sam is trying to read something. Now Pug is playing it much slower. He's up. Ooh, he just a sharp air dodge, though. They both did sharp air dodge. Roll back. That was scary. If he got forward for rolling back, he was dead. Sam backs off. Reads. Well, reacts to fair punishes. Reacts to the air dodge. You see Sam waits at the ledge there. That's a stock. Yeah. I think I was sued by Pug West. He should have just fell forward and went for an up B at some point. Oh, there's no reason for Pug to roll there. And then he got jabbed into nothing else. And now Sam is back to neutral. Yep, roll out of there. Ooh. Ooh, that's good damage. Oh, that was too greedy of a turn up pull. Oh, that was good reactions by Pug. Fastest option there was up B to hit him. Otherwise, I don't think Pug could have hit Sam there. That was super good. He probably should do that more as he sees the opportunity rising in. Wow. Well, and that's just silly. Just right here, just back air on tipper on shield, which sets this up for a free show break. Also, fun fact, there's a very slight difference, if any, between a tipper show break and a not tipper show break. So yeah, that was just good. I mean, he conditioned Sam. Sam didn't have many options. He'd have to fall back. But if Sam fell back at that percent, he'd probably just get pressure at the ledge and die from something because he's in that kind of position right now. Like, having a show be weakened is really, really, really bad. Okay, sorry. Before, even Sam goes... Okay, so they both on Battlefield. Interesting. I mean, the Blast Zones definitely help Sam in this matchup, because he doesn't have kill confirms, I don't think, that matter. So I think he'd rather just live longer and play the long neutral game. Like, generally, people who like Battlefield like playing longer neutral games. And so I can understand why Sam's doing that. Nice punish with side B. Nice punish with side B. Sam is falling into it. Yeah, Sam doesn't want to go to the ledge. Why is Sam... I guess Sam's scared of the ledge now, because he's got punished a couple times. He's done the dash attack a few times. <laughs> okay, so Pug just sees the landing. Capitalized forward smash. Pug dashes here. He doesn't challenge the landing. He could have, but he probably expected a Pug Sam land here, maybe. That jump was very interesting. I think Pug just jumps because he wants to meet Sam in the air with like a float to float counter. But kind of is working out. He can punish that in reaction. So up air, down tilt, and then Sam just holds back. Sam's probably trying to di like a jab or something, like buffering di for jab, and then he doesn't raise his down tilt, and then that's it. Holy shit! 
Okay, well this game's over. Like, Pug has to actually throw this game away to lose. Yep, go high at a jump. I appreciate Sam trying to punch low recovery, but... Nope, Mar Pug just doesn't let him do that. Pug's going a little bit in. Now Pug's getting bodied. I think Pug went way too aggressive after taking that stock. And Sam's about to bring this back. And now Pug's at the corner. This is where it sucks. Yeah, Sam's fishing for that. Oh, Sam could just forward aired. Or forward smash. I feel like that was maybe Miss Simple because that was a bad option. Nice out of shield fair. And yeah, Pug is now... Like, Pug is just trying to press buttons and it's working. Yeah, that's it. Or not. Sam is trying to read something. Ah, uh, Sam thought he might jump or something? I don't know. Sam has been really off with these forward airs. Like, I don't know. He could get a lot more punishes than he has been. Maybe just not expecting Pug to be so aggressive and in his face a lot of times. Because, yeah, Pug is definitely consistently just, like, going in his face when he's cornered. Wait, is that a stitch face? No, it's not. Good wait. Oh, wow. Sam fell with that. Nice reaction, yeah. Because Sam probably didn't think Pug would be, like, moving back with Nair. That was a good reaction by Pug to shield there. He didn't get the right punish, though. <sighs> no, Pug, stop doing that. Sam keeps waiting for things. Or, like, pulling back with Ferris so counter won't even work. Don't fish for the grab, Pug. Uh, catches his landing. Yeah, Pug is being a little bit too anxious now, fishing for grabs. Try and try fish for a side kill. Oh, there he is anyway. And I like how Sam went for a hard read up smash. If that up smash connected, I would have bet money that um, Pug was dead. Okay, got game five, Dreamland. Interesting Sam picks Dreamland. Is this because he doesn't want to play the long game anymore? Because he's having trouble killing. Have I analyzed any of Abba's games yet? Um, not yet, don't worry, I will get to that. So don't worry about it, dude. But yeah, um, I wonder why Dreamland. Hmm. And I guess Sam just wants to end the game earlier. But he's not landing forward air, so it doesn't make sense. If anything, I'd imagine he wants a smaller Sage, like Smashville. Or maybe even FD, like a Sage. Hmm. FD let him do, like, full hop floats, which would be nice. Um, what about Smashville? Smashville? I th Wait, didn't he win game one at Smashville? Yeah, he did. Town wouldn't really help him at all. Yeah, I can't really think of a Sage he wants, because he wants something small. Anyway. Mm -hmm. And now they're both playing patient. You see Sam is not panicking in the corner. Pug West isn't trying to push hits in. And that was good. Vegeta, I'm going to be analyzing pretty much all the bracket today. Ooh, catches a jump. And that was an aggressive forward air, but that's why I want to see more from Sam. Uh, actually, I want to see more defensive forward airs, or reacting to where Pug is going. Sam keeps trying to land on Pug. Is Sam really afraid of the ledge? He must be, because he keeps landing on Pug. <sighs> nice back air. Pug just stands there, probably expecting another fade back. Fair from uh, Pug. I mean, Sam. Uh oh, I was missing by Pug. Definitely messed up by Pug. He might die here? He's fine, but he's still cornered. Sam thought Pug was going to dash forward, probably. Pug rolls in again. Pug keeps rolling in. Oh my god, Pug. You were so lucky. I mean, Sam is so lucky that you didn't kill him. Ah, and Pug kind of put himself in this bad spot right here. He does the side B. He gets the punish. He's in a really good spot. But he overcommits way too hard to read in low recovery. He's at the corner. And this is why it's hard to read low recoveries in this game. And this is why... And generally speaking, it's better to try to read a recovery high. Because if you read recovery high and they go low, you're still on stage. If you go low and you guess wrong, then they're on stage. 
and that's what happened here. But it's hard because like, you have it's it's a very hard to edge guard in this game. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Just because you have to take that 50-50. Because if you're always going covering high, you're not gonna get low, and then they're cover every time. But yeah. And now Pug is trying to get something cute. I don't know why the down air. Greedy, it looks like. And yeah, Sam is just playing this patiently. So trying to land top of Pug. <sighs> there we go. Pug reads that. Sam's probably gonna land and try to go aggressive immediately. Yep, tries to go aggressive, get something before Pug is ready for it. Sam is now kind of waiting. He has turn up. Turn up lets him get closer because Pug has to throw it. And you see he jumps fair and they trade and the trade works out for Sam. Trying to get a good turn up. Throwing them out to bait Pug to doing something. Pug falls for the bait. Nair to grab, which is really good. He hasn't really done that mix up much. Fade back fair, trying to punish things. Reacts to full hop with an up air. He's just holding mid stage right now. Reacting to the roll, not fast enough, but it gets him going. He drops shield, takes some damage, he goes to platform. Trying to land back in Pug. Pug punishing. So trying to land mid stage. Pug misses the punish, which lets Sam get something going. Sam almost ends the game with a bomb. That'd be funny. Oh, Sam just goes for it. Uh, Pug made a few big mistakes. Like, I feel like Pug had the strategy down, but then there was random decisions like doing just like at the edge down air or like obviously at neutral B. Just like all these little things that he didn't need to do. But, yeah. So that was just a lot of small mistakes on Pug's side. Because I feel like Sam was also making a few mistakes. Like, Sam was going in at points. Just, like, flat out jump fair or, like, dash attack. And using a lot of bad rolls and kept trying to land mid-stage. And I feel like waiting for air dodges, just waiting, or just going for up tilt and using that to frame trap would have been really good. Because Sam was giving a lot of him that stuff. Gi giving him a lot of stuff. For free. I am a... So, yeah. Um, the stages were interesting. I mean, I guess Dreamland worked out because he was able to kill Pug earlier than other stages. So, I guess Dreamland was good because he got those early kills off some hard forward air reads. And, yeah, so good stuff to Sam, though. As much as I think Pug threw a game away, Sam definitely made the right reads with forward airs. And he held his cool when he was up. When he was down, he kind of fell apart. But when he was up, he just held it.